Good evening, everyone. This is Vijay from AECOM in Newcastle office. Today, I'm going to talk about the traffic modeling and appraisal of the Northeast Clean Air Zone. First, I'm going to introduce the purpose of the project and what is a clean air zone. Then, I'm going to talk about my involvement in different packages comparison from the modeling side and also the collaboration with the environment team. Finally, I'm going to talk about the wider society impacts of the project. The purpose of the project is going to introduce a charging clean air zone to improve the air quality on specific routes in Northeast, but also ensure that these changes won't wor worsen other areas of the air pollutant levels. In terms of the clean air zone, it is a charging zone. The driver needs to pay a charge when they go into the zone if their vehicles didn't meet the minimum European emission standards. For the petrol vehicles, it is under Euro 4 and diesel is under Euro 6. From the map, it can be seen that there are three routes has been identified. On the west, it is A1, but it is Harvest England strategic road and haven't been considered in this model. Uh, A167 is in the model to connect Newcastle and Gateshead. On the east, it is A1058 Coast Road, which connects North, e North Tyneside and Newcastle. The red route means it exceeded the threshold of the air pollutant, and the amber means it nearly meets the threshold. In order to tackle the issue, we initially designed an inner cordon and an outer cordon charging air zone. This map is showed the initial test for the inner cordon. It covers the central gatehead and Newcastle area and stretched to the east to cover the coast road. But this is the initial test and the final cordon will be smaller than this one. This is the outer cordon, which is cover a much bigger areas in northeast area. In terms of the charging vehicles, we consider all different types of the vehicles. And we have different combinations. We put them into the milk jar, shake them into the certain model, and then we compare the differences of the results. The model has been developed by Sutton. Saturn is a strategic model packages that calculates the traffic assignment on the route networks. The model has been developed and adapted from the existing Highways England North Regional model. And also all the commitments to be done in 2021 has been considered into the do minimum model. In terms of a CASB inner, it's going to charge buses, coaches, HGVs, and taxis. And taxis will be charged for 12 pounds and 50 pence per day, and others will be charged for 50 pounds per day. The CASB inner cordon will charge all the vehicles for CASB with LGVs as well. And LGV will be charged for 12 pounds 50 as well per day. CASB inner will charge all the vehicles for CASB with cars, and cars will be charged again for £12.50 per day. Caspi Outer, as showed before, it will charge in for the same vehicles for the Caspi Inner, but on a wider area for the outer cordon. This is an example of the output from the certain model. First, it compares the AM model between CASD and do minimum on all dirty vehicles that shows here. It compares the actual flows of the differences between the two models that over than 50 or less than minus 50. On the map, the blue line shows the reduction after introducing the CASD of the traffic flow, and the green line shows the increase. On the map, it can clearly see that after introducing the CASD, there is a great reduction in the area that we tackle on, on Coast Road and Central Motorway but there also has an increase on the A1 and A19 strategic road. 
but the harvest England is also tackled on those areas to bring the air quality levels down. As we can see that after introducing the Cas D, cars trying to avoid going into the charging area and shifting their routes. But also cars have other response as well. For example, they're probably changing their destinations for shopping from Alden Square to Metro Center, or changing their travel mode, or sometimes they just cancel their journey. After the initial comparisons between the different packages, we found that the CAS-D has the greatest impact on the numbers of the vehicles rerouting. From the table, we also can see that the CAS-B outer didn't have too much impact. It's due to the outer cordon is a quite bigger area, and the vehicles cannot find other routes to shift. From the table, we also can see that the CAS-D increased the most of the travel time on PCU hours and travel distance on PCU kilometers as well. Although CAS-D has the greatest impact, but as the project which will influence lots of the business and people as well. So we not only need to consider the modeling perspective only to shifting and focusing on rerouting things, we need to consider the wider social impacts as well. And I'm going to talk about the wider social impact on that section. Apart from modeling comparisons, I also involved in the collaboration with the environment team. I designed a dashboard in spreadsheet and it can easily automatically extract data from Saturn and import the data into the spreadsheet with the requested structure from the environment team. People need just to click a few buttons to get the data output. Once the environment team gets the output, they can use the data to analyze the air pollution output, the increase and decrease, and the percentage changes for different packages. As I said before, the project is quite big and will have a lot of different impacts on different aspects. We also need to consider people's public health, business impact, and incomes of different households. For example, the small business and large business will have a different reaction and response to the scheme. It depends on their size, their services, and their locations as well. It will have the different impacts on the household as well. For example, the poorer people with lower income will normally own the old vehicle, which high probability are pollutant and dirty vehicles, and they have little chance to upgrade their vehicles to avoid the charge. So all these kind of things need to be considered before take any further actions. So in summary, the purpose of the project is going to introduce a charging clean air zone to improve the air quality on specific area in Northeast, but also to make sure that it won't worsen any other elsewhere on the air quality and air pollutant levels as well. I have been involved in different packages comparisons and to have a look to investigate their impacts on routing and shiftings. I also involved in the collaboration with the environment team to make sure that the data transform between different teams to keep consistent and accuracy and also save the time and money of the project. Finally, although I haven't been involved in the wider social impacts investigate, but the other teams in the project has been investigated in it. Any project like this will have a wider impact on all different aspects, not only need to just focus on modeling perspective, but also need to think about business impact and also the household impact as well. Thanks for listening. Any questions?